Welcome to Mars Discoveries. So when will the next Starship launch take place? Will it be a matter of weeks or months? We'll break down what went wrong with the second Starship launch on November 18, 2023 and explore how SpaceX can get a third launch underway. First, let's travel back to April 20, 2023. After much warranted anticipation, the debut of a magnificent piece of engineering met a tragic fate as SpaceX's elegant, towering 40-story Starship rocket measuring 120 meters tall, 395 feet, disintegrated in a vivid display of orange and white flames merely four minutes after liftoff. Reaching the height of 39 kilometers or 24 miles above the Gulf of Mexico along the Texan coastline, for a maiden voyage, it was a far cry from graceful. The initial test flight of the Starship rocket and spacecraft resulted in a destroyed launch pad, environmental concerns, and a rocket spiraling out of control. As a result, SpaceX faced a seven-month wait before the Federal Aviation Administration. The FAA permitted another attempt. In the aftermath, the launch was met with a flurry of mixed reactions, celebrating the launch while also critiquing its shortcomings. NASA Administrator Bill Nelson joined in, offering his congratulations to SpaceX for the maiden integrated flight test of Starship. He emphasized the necessity of risk and significant milestones, recognizing that every monumental feat requires a degree of calculated risk and ultimately leading to bigger and better results. Fast forward to November 18, 2023, where the second Starship flight was also cut short and ended in an explosion. Now, whilst this may have looked like another failure, it was clear that progress had been made and previous technical issues had been addressed. SpaceX reported it has made significant progress in the development of its mammoth new rocket after the second test flight from Texas. Again, SpaceX was congratulated by NASA on its efforts to address the issues experienced in April 2023. NASA, having invested $4 billion in the Starship, has engaged SpaceX to transport its astronauts to and from the lunar surface. The Artemis missions will land the first woman and first person of color on the moon, using innovative technologies to explore more of the lunar surface than ever before, the first human landing since the Apollo era concluded in 1972. Anticipating the inaugural Artemis landing with astronauts aboard by 2025 or 2026, NASA's timeline hinges significantly on the success of Starship. To validate its reliability, the rocket and spacecraft must undergo numerous flights. Additionally, a crucial yet unprecedented challenge awaits, refueling the craft in orbit before its journey to the moon, an unprecedented and intricate task that demands successful execution. Now whilst the second flight also ended with further issues and despite the Starship not reaching its intended duration, SpaceX and its CEO, Elon Musk, view the flight's extended duration as a significant advancement and early indications suggest a shorter waiting period for another launch this time around. Elon Musk expressed confidence that the rocket, comprising the Super Heavy booster and the Starship spacecraft, would be ready for another test flight within a very short time frame of around three to four weeks. Yes, you heard it, three to four weeks mentioning that SpaceX already had three ships in their final production stages. The objective of the second flight on the 18th of November was to achieve a full revolution of the Earth with the top segment, a 50-meter tall, 165-foot, uncrewed stage referred to as the ship, culminating in a splashdown near Hawaii. However, as witnessed it fell short of the goal. The mission was prematurely terminated by onboard computers using explosive charges approximately eight minutes after liftoff, the exact cause still under investigation by SpaceX. In April, during its initial launch, Starship caused damage to its launch pad upon liftoff, encountered multiple engine failures in its lower stage Super Heavy booster, and struggled with the intended separation of the ship at altitude. However, in November's test, the spacecraft smoothly navigated through these initial phases without any issues. The recent flight showcased remarkable improvements. This time, the spacecraft soared into space, reaching an altitude of 93 miles, a significant leap from the mere 24 miles achieved in April. Unlike before, all 33 engines of the booster ignited successfully in comparison to the previous flight where six engines had failed to do so. 
It also successfully passed a crucial phase of separating the booster from the spacecraft, a hurdle it hadn't cleared in the previous attempt. Additionally, the onboard flight termination system, responsible for obliterating the rocket if it deviates from its path, seemed to activate promptly, in contrast to the 40-second delay observed during the previous flight. Also worth noting, following the initial flight in April, SpaceX implemented a water suppression system aimed at safeguarding the launch pad by mitigating vibrations generated by the booster's 33 Raptor engines. Evidently successful, Musk confirmed post-Saturday's flight that he had assessed the Starship launch pad and found it in impeccable condition, obviating any refurbishment requirement for the water-cooled steel plate ahead of the subsequent launch. In order to maintain momentum for the next launch, SpaceX engineers will still be keen to pinpoint the reason for the booster's explosion after its detachment as it commenced reorientation for its descent through the Earth's atmosphere and to delve into the underlying reasons for the ship's loss at an altitude of nearly 150 kilometers, 90 miles, above the planet. This should be a relatively straightforward process due to the extensive information available from the systems monitoring every aspect of the Starship's engines and components and SpaceX's ability to monitor the ship's performance from the ground, helping to pinpoint the precise causes behind the setbacks. In prior testing phases of Starship, SpaceX encountered setbacks with prototypes collapsing, exploding, or crashing, sometimes followed by subsequent explosions. Yet, the company adeptly identified the issues, implemented solutions, and resumed testing. With the fully integrated Starship system, SpaceX aims to replicate this approach, addressing challenges, resolving issues, and continuing with their testing objectives. SpaceX must satisfy the FAA that all safety, environmental, and regulatory prerequisites have been met by submitting comprehensive data collected as part of its investigations into what went wrong, which the FAA will meticulously review and evaluate prior to any further licenses being granted. To its advantage, SpaceX boasts considerable expertise in collaborating with the FAA and swiftly returning to launch operations, following the loss of a Falcon 9 rocket during a NASA cargo resupply mission to the International Space Station in 2015. SpaceX managed to resume flights merely six months later, achieving the remarkable feat of successfully landing its booster for the first time. Should SpaceX swiftly identify the cause behind the activation of the flight termination system, resulting in the destruction of the second stage spacecraft post-separation from the booster, and ensure that the debris landed as anticipated in the event of a malfunction, getting approval for a third launch should be a relatively straightforward process. So, will we see another Starship launch in January 2024? Let's hope so. Starship stands as the most potent rocket system ever launched from our planet. With 33 engines situated at the foundation of the Super Heavy booster, generating 74 mega newtons of thrust, its power surpasses all preceding vehicles, including those that carried astronauts to the moon during the 1960s and 70s. Its capacity to carry over 100 tons into orbit in a single mission promises a drastic reduction in the expenses associated with space endeavors. Elon Musk sees Starship as pivotal in fulfilling his enduring aspiration of transporting people and resources to Mars to establish a human colony. Moreover, it will play a crucial role in his Starlink initiative, which aims to establish a worldwide network of broadband internet satellites. While thousands of Starlink satellites are already orbiting, future iterations will be larger and heavier, requiring Starship's capacity to transport them into space. We hope you enjoyed this episode of Mars Discoveries. To support our quest, please hit that like button and subscribe for more content. Until next time, Keep looking up.